I'm about to share with you the secret and tips on how demand gen campaigns actually work with Google Ads so you can actually use them to scale your e-commerce brand to the next level. Now, we all know that Google Ads is especially known for constantly changing things, constantly updating things when we least expect it. But one thing it never goes against or it never updates against is the fundamentals. So to use and scale demand gen campaigns, you need to actually take a step back and understand the fundamentals now from what i've seen so far with demand gen campaigns there's actually two parts to this the first part has to do more with how demand gen campaigns even came into existence now for those of you that don't know there used to be a special campaign type within google ads called discovery campaigns which you could actually launch directly within your google ads account so for example if we go right here on the dashboard there used to be a section here instead of demand gen which was discovery campaigns and after a lot of analysis after a lot of look into the internal data google officially realized that discovery campaigns are a thing of the past now they need to make something a bit more structured a bit more smart to cope with the changing algorithm and that's when they introduced demand gen campaigns and that's essentially what a demand gen campaign is. it's a new formation of discovery campaigns same as performance max campaigns are a new formation of smart shopping campaigns and the beauty about demand gen campaigns is not only are they designed to go after brand awareness and find people who are actually going to interact with your brands on a holistic level but it's also smart enough to actually start getting you sales long term first things first what you want to understand is a demand gen campaign is not only a smart bidding based campaign but it's also a manual bidding based campaign and what i mean by that is if we go right here under campaign goals we have the ability to go after either clicks or to go after either purchases this means that we can also set a target ROAS or a target CPA strategy if we go after only conversions whereas on the other hand if we were to go after clicks we would be able to tell the demand gen campaign exactly what to bid per link click but the real main kind of juice that comes from a demand gen campaign actually comes when it operates as a smart bidding based campaign because when it operates as a smart bidding based campaign it now has the ability to determine the bids on on its own it's able to determine exactly who to show your ads to which is why demand gen campaigns are so powerful and one thing if you didn't already know about demand gen campaigns is not only are they specific campaign types to showcase different assets like images videos etc so that your ads show up on youtube gmail discovery but you can also run demand gen campaigns for products only which is something very mind-boggling and that's where exactly your strategy begins but to really get the best possible re results from a demand gen campaign first things first you need to have a well optimized landing page without a properly optimized landing page your quality score for your demand gen campaign is going to be generally low and when that happens what's going to happen is google is not going to be sending high quality traffic to your demand gen campaigns which means you'll be bidding way too high for the wrong type of audience and as a result these demand gen campaigns will be not profitable at all for your brand but your demand gen campaigns also need a properly optimized product feed because one thing i mentioned earlier was demand gen campaigns are designed to go after the product feed as well and showcase all of those products so if you don't have the right products in play if the products are not set up properly then a demand gen campaign is just not going to work this means your product titles your product images descriptions etc everything needs to be approached in a proper search in an optimized manner and everything needs to be portrayed with high perceived value if you just throw up random images together if you just throw up random videos together hoping something works that's not how demand gen works and it will most likely not work in the long run so for a demand gen campaign to work properly you will need to ensure that your campaign is built on quality rather than just throwing things up with a massive budget not setting any types of restrictions and just hoping and praying it works this kind of brings us to the final approach of how to run demand gen campaigns and what our strategy is for the brands we're working with under my google as agency or marketing which by the way if you're doing forty thousand dollars or more per month in revenue you need just a little bit of extra help scaling your brand to the next level go on to my website at yourmarketing.com and schedule a free call with me to see how we can essentially work together and make that happen our strategic approach involves either only product-based demand gen campaigns or asset-based demand gen campaigns you don't want to mix the two because similar like with a performance max campaign when you make your campaigns do too much they end up being a jack of all trades instead of being a master of one thing 
and with a demand gen campaign that just means a lot of display traffic which is often wasted so essentially translating our strategy now to simple words we're approaching it with a very simple tactic of just adding the fewest possible assets if we decide to go with the asset based approach or just adding in our best selling products if we decide to go the products based approach only and focusing all of that demand gen campaigns attention on just those individual things because then what happens is if one thing is working versus one thing that's not working we will be able to pinpoint exactly what's not working and then improve our strategy and make it different to cater to those things whereas if you were just adding a bunch of things right off the bat to a demand gen campaign most likely than not you will not be able to tell exactly what's working versus what's not working and as a result the overall campaign results will be very skewed and off so again take the simple approach that's what we're doing across all of the brands we're working with check out this case study right here which implemented some of these demand gen campaign tactics to scale this brand beyond six figures a month in revenue